Welcome back to Anderson Acres. Today we're going to talk a little more about quail and about raising them for eggs, if eggs is your entire goal. All right, if you're not interested in raising them for meat and you really, really want eggs. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get them on, on a high protein feed. They do need it. Laying eggs, they need the high protein. So I use a turkey starter. You can use a turkey food or you could use a game bird starter. You could use a quail food if you're lucky enough to be in an area where you have that as an option. I don't, but you do want to get them on a good high protein food. Make sure they're always supplied with fresh water. All animals should be supplied with fresh water, but especially if you want laying eggs. Being denied water for even six hours, suddenly they won't lay for a week. It happens. So lots of fresh water. You also want to give them a calcium supplement. Now you can use um, crushed oyster shell or crushed egg shell just like you can with chickens. However, the thing you want to be aware of with chicken, with uh, quail, is sometimes the crushed oyster shell you buy is actually too big for them to eat. So you might need to crush it in a coffee grinder or something. Same with eggshells. You may need to pound them a little bit finer just because they're so much smaller than chickens. And these guys are teeny tiny. They're a little bitty. So you might have to crush that up so that they can have enough calcium to lay good quality eggs for you. You want to make sure for optimum laying conditions that they have secure housing where they feel safe because they won't lay if they don't feel safe. Our guys feel plenty safe here. We've never had a predator get into this area just because there's rabbits over there, but just because we uh, are pretty cognizant of letting any predators get this close. Hi, Princess Orange. So we don't let predators get that close. You want to keep your birds calm. You don't want to disturb them. You want to give them soft bedding. Yes, guys. So you want to give them nice soft bedding so that they're comfortable but not so much bedding that they can hide their eggs in the bedding. So a, a light layer of bedding, straw or sand or whatever you use for bedding, a light layer so that they feel comfortable, but they don't hide their eggs because they do that. You want to make sure that they have at least half a foot of space per bird. One foot is better. Okay, they do need a little bit of space. They don't need as much space as a chicken, but they still need a little bit of space. Don't lick the phone. Princess Orange. Um, if you want them to lay, they need at least 12 hours of daylight a day. They actually do better on about 14 because they're, whether or not they lay eggs is entirely triggered by how much daylight they're receiving. So don't put them in the shade. Like this is, this is south. So we have the sun passes here and they're in sun most of the day. Except in the winter, we have very little sun anyway. But that's why this is here in this position. I wouldn't put it on the north side of the trees because they'd be in shade all day. So the more sun they have, the better. I mean, obviously, they need protection from the sun. You can't sit them out in the bright sunlight all day, every day, in, in uh, hot, humid weather. But you do want them to receive plenty of sun. So don't put them on the shaded side of your house. Okay? That's there's a moustache. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you do want them to have enough light to lay. They need at least 12 hours. 14 is better. Do not exceed 16 hours. You'll actually make your quail sick if you have a light on them 24 hours a day. They're not designed for that. They do need to sleep at night. So 16 hours max. 14 is ideal. 12 is very good too. Um, you do want to wait until your quail are mature before you wonder why they're not laying. Some core tunics will uh, lay at about uh, six weeks old. Some others you might have to wait till nine weeks. So all female quail should be laying eggs between six and nine weeks old. When you bring new quail in, you're probably going to have no one lay for two to six weeks. Everyone needs time to settle in. Okay, new environment, maybe new buddies. Also Damien. You never know if there's a Damien. They'll need a couple weeks to settle in. Um, if you're only having eggs for uh, eating and you're not going to do eggs for hatching, then you don't need any males. They'll lay eggs without males. I do get asked that question. You don't need a male for them to lay an egg. But you can have males even if you're just having eating eggs. It's fine. There's no reason not to have a male. But you don't have to have a male if you don't want a male. And I can hear Lily complaining. 
Just because she wants me to let her out because she doesn't like winter anyway, so she wants to go foraging. Anyway, <laughs> obviously if you're going to do hatching eggs, you do need a male. Okay? If you are going to have males, you might want to do a 1 to 3 ratio. That seems to work out best. I have um, 1 to 2, so I have 1 rooster for every 2 hens that I have. 1 boy for every 2 girls. That works for me, but 1 to 3 works for most people. The other thing you want to do is you want to provide them with a sand or dirt bath. Some, something they can dust bathe in. It actually is really good for them. You want them to be able to keep themselves clean. Here comes Gwen. So you want them to be able to keep themselves clean, keep themselves happy, and make sure that you keep their pen fairly clean. You don't want eggs that are covered in muck. Quail eggs are actually kind of difficult to wash, especially if they get really mucky. So you want to try to keep those eggs clean right off the bat. But that's about it for raising quail for eggs. It's actually not difficult. They're really easy. They're even easier than chickens. They also make that sound, which is hilarious to me. <laughs> so if you want to wait, raise quail for eggs, it's really no big deal. It's simple, straightforward. They don't take up as much room as chickens. And they're funny. There's one of our girls. She's funny. So if you want to raise quail for eggs, go for it. It's really, really easy and a lot of fun. That's about it for us today here at Anderson Acres. We'll see you tomorrow.